What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Energy Healing Tarot 123. It's your girl, Empress Jim, here to drop some jewels. This month's reading edition will be Mercury Retrograde for October 2020. Um, yeah, as you know, we tweaking, we getting the channel together, you know, different reads here and there. You know, I do all types for the most part. But uh, yeah, guys, so this is for Scorpio. General message, take what's for you, leave the rest behind. Um, in any event, continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe to your home girl. I love the support, guys. I feel the love. I'm so thankful and grateful for you all. Um, yeah, if you need a personal, MNMenergy.com. We also got other uh, jewelry and other, right now, just bath soaps. But, you know, that will change, okay? You know how we work out here in these streets. We don't announce too much of everything. We just... Uh, let it do what it do. We announce one is out here. Okay. So, but yeah, guys. So, um, Mercury retrograde messages here for this month. It's going to take us for the rest of the month. So, might as well, right? See what's going on. So, we're going to shuffle this out. Everything else has been like pre shuffle. We're using a hillbilly deck. That's my, this some bullshit deck, so, you know, retrograde be full of bullshit, so, but I just had to shuffle this one here, this one isn't as easy to, like, pre-shuffle out a card for you guys, because they're, like, such delicate, big, flimsy type cards, but beautiful, so, we'll get this, your energy in here, and then we'll get the pulling, okay, I did not do the usual i just cleared the decks you know i said i want to be as shocked or surprised with what i get from you guys or whatever random messages so we're just rolling and flowing rolling rolling with the homies but um yeah so let's get this enigma out here the enigma deck will get one from here spirit we thank you for these messages what do we have for scorpio during the retrograde one card for scorpio one card for Scorpio. For the retrograde. Thank you, Scorpio. Whoa, Jesus. Okay. And I, I had to call him. Multi. So the sun. We're going to go. We're going to start here. I'm going to give you. This comes with this own little thing. So the sun is energy. Ultimate power. Giver of life. It's radiance. Now, guys. Scorpio, this is intense because I was thinking about, okay, I did think about there's something that come to mind and I believe that the Mercury retrograde is in your sign, okay? Your card is the devil, okay? Yes, it's, you got the devil. 32, breaking down to a five, major changes. But this is the devil, guys. We're talking about the devil. And um, in this deck, he's not like, you know, why? <laughs> So the devil, fear, the idea of evil, psychological projection, and guilt, okay? That's what this Mercury Retrograde is about to be talking about for you guys. Evil, okay? We're going to read that again. Fear, the idea of evil, psychological projection, and guilt. I'm hearing black magic, juju, hoodoo, voodoos, and curses, okay? People putting it out there on you or you putting it out there on them or this scorpionic type energy, wherever it's flowing out. It's about to be out here trying to play on some fuck shit during this Mercury retrograde, okay? Let's get the lesson. What's the lesson? What is the lesson? Spirit, we thank you. What's the lesson? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Up to three. You know how we do. Friendship. Somebody going to see that they friends ain't really they friends. Some evil shit going to happen. Somebody could be projecting some horrible shit to people that, you know, um, say you might think this is your friend, but they might be projecting some nasty evil shit on you or whatever. Somebody is smiling in your face and doing dancing with the devil behind your back. OK, somebody is making deals with the devil and could be using you as a sacrifice. OK, we got gratitude here. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. <laughs> You're protected, especially when I got that sun energy there, okay? Um, there is powers beyond all of us, the forces that be, the most high. He is protecting and going to help out in a situation. But I do feel the energy of some backstabbing ass friends. 
people ain't your friend. They is out to get you. They is out to do. Just look at how these cars sit here together. The tongue is going towards the friendship. Like he, yeah, no, this is tainted. This is not a real friend. This is somebody who will throw your ass under the bus or somebody is about to get thrown under the damn bus, okay? Yeah, um, sorry about it. It's going to be a little weird cut, but yeah. Smiling faces, smiling faces, smiling your face. They doing you dirty. This person, like, these people are sacrificing you, are willing to sacrifice you. Okay, let's, what, what, what's the message here? Poe, okay. Seven, divine number here. Time for change, to learn something new, to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. Gossiping, getting yourself caught up in some drama. Don't look, those fake ass friends about to get you caught up, bruh. They're going to try anyway. I'm telling you, you don't need no co-defendant. And don't be nobody co-defendant. No matter how long you know this person or whatever, they shady, they up to something. They about to get you caught up in some drama and some bullshit. And they're going to leave your ass and you're going to be stuck to take the rap by yourself. Use their inner strength and power. I feel like the most high, the universe, spirit, whoever it is, your intuition, your gut, they're reaching out and they're telling you that no, this person is not good. This situation is not good. It's a no, okay? They're saying that. They're warning you, okay? You need to be thankful. Be thankful for the powers that be. Be thankful for the knowledge and the strength that you're getting here. Take in this abundance and this power and this intuition and these gifts and these signs and these synchronicities, these messages, these blockages, because you might feel like you're being blocked from dealing with this friend. But yo, on some real shit, no, bruh, no, 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 no. Under here, we got sea storm. Calm amid chaos, okay? 32, again. This person act like everything is all good. These are the same numbers. This is the same energy here, okay? This is calm amidst a storm. This person acting like everything is all good. Cause look at it. This person's dark. They live for the drama. They make the drama. They are the drama. That's why they're so calm, because they cause the drama. They are the evil. That's why they're so calm. You got to be careful. These people could be trying to set you up online. You know, I'm hearing money laundering. I'm hearing, you know, bank scamming, you know, account scamming, um, breaking into social media accounts, PayPal accounts here, um, gossiping here, lots of gossiping. Yes, spying. Got you trying to spy out on people, researching things. Somebody's researching some shit here. I'm seeing poison. I'm seeing a train. Somebody trying to take a trip to go do something or probably needing to escape. Okay? <sighs> Only because of what that is, spirit. Yes. Let's see. Um, we're going to look at Paul. Nobody, well, unless the next future reading is going to get... This type of energy here where I'm just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, Poe. Somebody could be Poe as hell too. But what is this Poe energy here? Can we just clarify this real quick for Scorpio, please? Can we talk about Poe, please? Mm. Yeah, y'all getting a little bit of special treatment only because this is like OD. Okay. Let's see. We got air energy here. We also got somebody who's just needing to speak the truth here. Could be a Gemini with this court and car here. Yeah, more air energy. But this is also somebody who just needs to speak up the truth here and make a decision. Okay. Um, this Poe individual, this this situation here it does have to deal with somebody's relationship, somebody's marriage here. I do feel like there's a single individual who wants to come in and say something. They want to take action towards um, somebody else's relationship, towards something else. And they're trying to get you caught up. This person wants you to help them. They want you to help them sabotage somebody else's union, somebody else's well-being here. Because look, this is the first three cards that fell out here, okay? This is a this is a union that's supposed to be together. This is a soulmate union. These people are happy, okay? Walking down the aisle, they come together. Yeah, you know, and the ancestors look, you know, everybody ain't as happy about, you know, the union or whatever, but these people are together. They are committed, um, most high ordained and put them together, okay? This is the sun here in the middle, all right? This is that power, okay, has put this here. 
But now you got this person, you got this energy here. This person who wants to come in a single energy, they want to come in. They want to come in and take somebody's independence, somebody's joy, okay? They do. Somebody want to come in, they want to say something, they want to do something here. But I feel like it's a matter of time. Time may not necessarily be on their side. It's a matter of time. They're going to make a decision that's going to cause them their own vision, okay? Yeah. You have an opportunity to get away from this, to not deal and get yourself caught up in this energy. Don't do it, Scorpio. It's not looking good, okay? So let's get your uh, message here. Hillbilly spread. What is this bullshit? Like, what is this bullshit? I had to see Cole's energy straight up, though. And that's what this is about. Somebody trying to, like, spread gossip and rumors about somebody's relationship, trying to make somebody single. We all know that Eight of Wands is DM. Somebody trying to send messages via social media, trying to break into social media accounts, stage shit, and make it look like, it, make it, probably try to, like, break in. So say it's a man and a woman together. And say that this couple, they're very open. They have access to each other's stuff, you know, without cause, you know, with, with no problem. It is what it is. I feel like there is an outside person, male or female, whoever is trying to infiltrate the relationship. They're going to they're trying to break into somebody's social media in the couple. OK, and trying to post up fake messages or, you know, make it seem like this person was out here doing shit when they weren't. They're trying to make somebody's person that they're in a commitment with or somebody just somebody's person they're trying to make them look bad they're trying to tank them somebody is trying to uh, yeah i see the hacker hack into somebody's accounts and pose as they are as if they are them so that they can destroy what they have going on and then try to act like everything is all good and they're the one who's causing the issue they're the fucking devil they're projecting this shit, okay? I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. It's just sad. So let's see, Scorpio. What is this bullshit? What is this bullshit? Look at this. Old moonshiner. Somebody who in their feelings. Somebody who getting drunk off their own supply. A foe. Okay? This is a foe. They a joke. They want to act like they're young, you know, because we know Jacks are usually the young ones, but they're old as hell. They're old as fuck and they need to give it up. They do. Water energy here, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody who really is having the courage here to come in and block what the hell you got going on. Somebody's trying to lay down the law on your life or somebody around you. You also need to have the courage when it comes to dealing with this own moonshiner. You need to put your foot down because they're, I don't like their energy. I don't like their actions here. It's, it's cloudy. And like when it's like black and white and then all this shaded areas are gray. There's so much gray in this picture. Like there's so much confusion. There's so much cloudiness I can see. Yeah, divine time is at play, though. Um, you need to find balance. Find balance with yourself and find balance in the situation. Really have the courage to, you know, walk away from them. Not Be the power within yourself here, following your own intuition, okay? Truly and entirely, yeah, because this person, like I said, moonshiner, magician, hexing, evil, curses, voodoo, hoodoo. This person is up to no good, and they're trying to get you caught up in some bullshit. You see that moon? You're wise, like you know what's going on, like you know what's going on. I feel like you're watching them. You're you're like this dog. You're just trying to be loyal to them, okay? Because this is your friend. This is somebody that you've known for a minute. Feel me? But you know that what they're doing is faulty. I feel like you have the wisdom here. All right, Aries moon. I feel like with this red, this fieriness, I'm feeling the Aries moon here. That Aries full moon we had take place at the beginning of this month. I feel like they went off and they did this shit, and you know they did. And you you want to be loyal to your friend, but you know that they're playing with some shit that they shouldn't be playing with, okay? You know it, okay? Old, the old moonshiner here, okay? Old moonshiner, all right? Old moonshiner, okay? Look at this. Look at how these cards are flowing, okay? This person probably looked like this at the beginning. Hell, and because how karma plays and when you play with certain things, 
This person could have looked like this at the beginning of the month. Young, good, feeling good, healthy, everything. And they want to go out here and start playing. But now, shit falling back. And now they need you to keep coming in and helping them and help them block this person and help you. Help me, help me block them. Help me throw this out. Throw out another one. And it's just like, you're like, yo, I know I should not be doing this. This is not cool. Like, this is not cool. Like... I feel like these people are protected. This person that is protected, whoever's trying to throw this devil energy out here, this old moonshiner, because that's who this is about. And this is somebody in your corner that you fuck with that is trying to get you to do some fuck shit. Why? Why, 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 why? Let's see. Let's get the why. Why is this person doing this? That's what we want to know. Why is this person doing this? They want somebody else's passion to start. I'm telling you, you got a friend who's jealous of somebody else, of jealous of somebody else, point blank period, because I don't know necessarily what it could be. This passion could be anything, okay? But they want it to come into them, okay? If you look at how these images play out, they, because they're laying down like this. Here we go. They want this to come into them. They want this passion to come into them. That's what this person was working on and manifesting. And here you are sitting here loyal. You know, being loyal to the game and trying to work with them. That's Mercury energy as well, guys. Okay. So. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Could be dealing with a Virgo. We got Leo sitting out here. Lots of fire energy. Okay. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this person wants what somebody else has had. What somebody else has had. Okay. That's just the bottom line. They want it and they're trying to block it. They're having the courage and everything they can. That's why they're putting out all these spells and shit because they're trying to block what somebody else has here, okay? Somebody else is already being successful. See how they marching in? Somebody else is already coming in with their successes, all six of them. But this is that moonshiner trying to come in and block and they're asking you to help them and you've been unfortunately helping them, okay? Yeah, they must have cast some spell or some shit on you too. I feel like somebody done cat your own friend then projected some bullshit out to you to make you sit there like a loyal ass puppy and help them. They tainted your for I'm hearing somebody spiked your drink. Okay. Somebody got you under an illusion and you're not even aware of it. That that's why they're always so calm. Like literally, it's um And only because I heard this and it's like the Virgo and somebody explained like Virgo energy. <laughs> And it was like, you know, you got those low vibe ones who will slash your tires and then will show up like, oh, your tire's flat. I got a tire. But they're the one who slash your tire. It's like right now, this person is like, they done drugged you. They done probably even hexed your ass. And that's why you're sitting there like a low you ass sad puppy while they are leading you down a more dirtier path. But I feel that you're going to find out this may be becoming revealed to you. Okay. Yeah, strength here. Them angels got your back. This is going to be revealed to you. You're going to wake up. You're going to snap out of it. Somebody's going to let you know. They might accidentally drop the wrong message into your inbox or whatever. Or you might end up getting a message that was supposed to go to someone else. Okay? And you're going to realize how toxic and evil this person is. All right? That's when you're going to really have the power here and be grateful that you're able to get out of this situation. Because this person, this shit is coming back on them. The shit is coming back on them. Yeah, truth. The shit is coming back on them. The air sign here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But the truth is coming back to them. They're going to be singing some melodies, all right. They're going to be singing some fucking melodies, all right. Okay? Yes, God don't play. Most high don't play. Most high don't play. Listen to the music. They're going to be dancing to the music. They're going to be dancing in the cell. To, with, <laughs> Bobby going to be Bridget. <laughs> Most high not playing right now. You got the courage. He's going to reveal to you. He's about to show your ass. He's going to show you. You have the power. Okay. You're going to be telling them the truth. You're going to wake up and realize that. Look, you're going to be like, it's going to like snap. Or like I said, this message is going to come in. 
okay? They're going to be so busy thinking that they singing to, you know, one of the other shady ass individuals around you and not knowing that it, it was the group text that had you included, okay? It's like nine y'all, some shit like that. And they thinking that, oh, I'm about to go talk shit about Scorpio in the other group text where it's only eight of us and they sent it to the wrong one. So you got the message too. Now you're ready to take action. Most high is stepping in, okay? Most high is stepping in, okay? You have the courage. Don't be drunken by this nasty spirit. This is a nasty ass spirit trying to keep you drunk. You have the power here. Let's close this out. Let's get this conclusion. You know, yeah, this was intense, especially with your um, rebel deck looking at me, telling me detox, get grounded pretty much. You need to ground yourself with this energy. I think it was one of my ass. Okay, what we got? Common sense. Use your common sense here, okay? That's the bottom line. Use your common sense here, and you'll be fine. You will be fine. You'll be able to get out of the situation. You'll, you'll be fine. Make the proper change needed here. Cut these people out. Don't get caught up in no more of their shit. Walk away from the situation now, because these people are looking at some serious time. Yeah, um, they think they're, 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 they they're going to be victorious towards you. Yeah, I don't see that. I see the most high being victorious, allowing you to have victory here. You just hold back and you wait and see. These motherfuckers is lazy. They don't want to work for themselves. They don't want to do anything. That's how they messed up. And they're lazy in their tactics. They're, they're um, I'm hearing like loose, nasty, sloppy. Okay, they're sloppy in their strategy. They're not strategic at all. Granted, they're trying to sit here calm, like I said. They, they flatten the tires, left the knife with their fingerprint, but then tried to show up with another tire. And you know that they did the crime. You get it? Like, these people are very, very sloppy in their tactics here, okay? Most High is not playing. He's going to ruin them. And you're going to, he's going to ruin them. Like I said, somebody is going to jail. Somebody about to get caught up in some bullshit. Yeah, because that's where this worry is. Somebody is about to lose it all. Lose it all. You... You have a choice to make. I'm letting you know now, okay? You can get the fuck up out of there fast as hell. Get the fuck up out of Dodge, bro. Could be dealing with an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. But get the fuck up out of Dodge, bro. Like, it's time to go. Be thankful that things will be illuminated to you. It's time to go. It's time to go. This also could be a masculine energy here. It's time to go. It's time to get moving. This bitch means you know well. She's setting you up. Whoever that was for. Spirit, we thank you for these messages. As we close out with this moonology, it is time to take action here. What's the message for our Scorpios for Mercury retrograde? Don't let pride get in your way. And whether it's your pride or their pride, don't let somebody like back you down. Could be dealing with Leo energy here, okay? But don't let somebody back you down, all right? Don't let them keep you caught up in some shit that you know is not good for you because your ass is going to end up locked up too, okay? It's a time for healing right now. Detox at the top of the rebel deck. We take all her message, spirit. We thank you as we close out for Scorpio. What we got for them? Yeah, I really didn't want this to be that long, guys, so... So you guys got laugh, okay? Forgive, let that shit go. When you watch their ass get locked up and they going away in the police cruiser, you laugh because it won't be you. It won't be you. When you see them getting their ass whooped, it won't be you. You not getting jumped to, okay? So time to let go, okay? Move the fuck on, all right? <laughs> For real, eat your fucking vegetables, mind your damn business, eat some shit made by Mother Nature. It don't say mind your business, but that's what I'm, that's what I feel is implied with this card. Eat your fucking vegetables, mind your business, grow your strength, get strong, do what you need to do. You need a big fucking hug. Did you feel that? Did you feel that? Yeah, okay, I give good hugs like I make great sandwiches, okay? That project, that person, that idea is waiting. Get after that shit, the well has your back. Don't fuck with them. Focus on you right now. Be thankful for what it is that you have been blessed for you. I feel like also a lot of you guys are going to be blessed with an opportunity here. You're not going to be sure why it's here. Okay. It could be a, a, a job opportunity, a, a, a chance to move and get away from whatever this devil negative energy is. And you're not going to be quite sure. Take that shit and be grateful because it's your way out from getting 
it's a way out from being underneath this nasty energy that's around you, okay? You are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit. Listen, you are winning. You got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. Like I said, get the fuck out of your head and get in your heart. It misses you, okay? Gratitude. Heart chakra energy here, okay? Be thankful for the new opportunities that are coming into your life because it is removing you away from some shit that is about to backfire and blow the hell up. You will be able to laugh at this motherfucker, okay? So, yes, Scorpio, that has been your message. I know you guys know what to do with this information. Comment below. Let me know how this retrograde treats you guys. You know, whatever, whatever. Until the next time we speak, peace out.